All right, you find a dusty bottle in the attic. Maybe it's at your grandma's house or at some old mansion somewhere. You find this bottle and you open it and a genie pops out. And this genie offers you one wish. And that wish is that you're going to be able to draw instantly. Pick up a pencil, pick up a sheet of paper, bam, you can knock out anything. You can draw anything exactly the way that you want it to be. Now, what's that going to be like? How is your life going to change by having this, this superpower, really? Sure, you can go and have the most incredible Instagram account or the most amazing YouTube channel. Or sure, you can be in galleries and museums and all that. But let's talk about the more important part of it, which is what is it going to do for you to suddenly be able to draw? Well, the very first thing that will happen is you will be seeing the world differently. While you're still in that attic, you'll look around and you'll notice an old tricycle covered with cobwebs, and you'll see how beautiful the rusty metal is on its uh, st on its seat post or on the the way that the rubber tires are s slowly falling apart and the shadows that it's casting on the floor. You'll notice the co the light coming through the cobweb windows, and you'll say how soft that is, how beautiful, how how that makes me feel. And you'll step out of the building, and suddenly everything is amazing. Everything is gorgeous. You'll hop on the bus, and as you're looking out the window, you'll see the streets passing by, and they'll look completely differently. You'll see how interesting they are, how these places that you've passed a thousand times are now completely new to you. You'll notice the, the shadows. You'll notice the construction of the window frames. You'll notice the signage of the stores. You'll, everything seems amazing and interesting, and you can't wait to start to draw it, to own it, to make it yours, to take whatever it is that's coming into your eyeballs and into your brain and to channel this gift that you have to suddenly transform it into something completely different. Suddenly you also feel, regardless of making art, that you live in an amazing planet, an amazing time. Everything is just so fascinating to you. And you start to see connections between things. You start to notice the way that a tree is put together. You start to see its branches and the structure of its leaves and how they turn toward the light. You start to notice the shadows that it casts on the ground. You start to see similarities between things. You start to understand why something is the way that it is because you've studied its structure. And things have meaning to you that they never had before. Again, things that you took for granted, things that just didn't seem unusual, suddenly you realize that every old building on the street is unique. Every person's face is so interesting and carries their years of experience upon them. Everything is beautiful and unique, and you'd never noticed it before. And you start to feel that you are changing, that your brain is suddenly growing new neurons, new connections are being made. Your brain is actually physically changing because of these associations and connections that you're making, because of the way that you're filtering information that's coming in from your eyes. Suddenly, you are seeing new things and new meanings, and that is causing structural change in your neural connections, in the connections that go down to your hands, in the way that you move them and your your fine motor control, all these things are changing and growing. But also, you feel a new sense of calm. Maybe that comes from having this power, but it also comes from just a, an ability to be in the present, to be here now. It's sort of meditative, but it's also active. So you're here, and you are not worrying about the past, you're not worrying about the future. There's so much of interest in this moment, you're never bored again. You're never bored. You never need to pull out your phone to distract you because everything around you is mind-boggling. And you can always draw. 
you can, if you're waiting in line at the DMV, you draw the back of the head of the person in front of you. If you're waiting um, in the parking lot at your supermarket for your friend to bring the groceries out, you're noticing the way that different metals in the cars in the parking lot are reflecting light differently. You're noticing the shapes. You're noticing how individual cars are shaped and how a group of cars is shaped, how their windshields are reflecting light. It's so intense, but it's all transformative. And there's this combination of, as I said, quiet, calm, but also energy because you tap into that same energy you had when you were in kindergarten, when you could sit down happily for hours with a box of 64 Crayola crayons with a pencil sharpener at the back, and you could create worlds on a sheet of paper. You could summon up castles and wizards and planets and monsters and armies. You could make anything you wanted to, but you'd lost that strength. You lost that ability. You'd lost that knowledge. And now suddenly, it's all back, and you realize that you can make anything with this skill. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be photographic for it to still be thrilling and exciting. So there you are, sitting calmly at a table in a cafe, and you are creating a universe. This genie has given you this skill in a second, but it's not over. Yes, you suddenly know how to draw, but you also come to realize that there's more to learn. There's always more to learn and that there's no limits to what you can do with the skill and how you can transform it. Um, the, you are on a lifelong adventure, really. There's so many different materials and techniques and skills to learn. There's so many different things to, to um, draw. There's so many different things to draw in so many different ways. You could draw the same cup over and over and over again. It will be different as the light changes, as you change, as the, the pen that you use changes. You could draw the same shoe, the same tree, the same schnauzer, a hundred different ways. But then you can also travel the world. Wherever you go, you're now seeing it like an artist, and that's so much richer of an experience. You're not a tourist on a package tour anymore. You are a conqueror of new worlds. You're seeing things that the people who live there never noticed. It's so much richer and more exciting. I've had that experience of going to a country. I went to Japan before I knew how to draw. I spent weeks there, and I found it uninspiring and uninteresting. I went back after I'd learned to draw and I couldn't control myself. It was so fascinating. There were so many different ways that I, that things were put together. There were so many different ways that people behaved. Even the light was different. Everything about it was completely different. So this experience was completely amplified and transformed by the fact that I knew how to draw and I looked at it as like an artist. And I suddenly also started to learn from other great artists some of whom have been dead for hundreds of years. You go to a museum and you look at a Van Gogh painting or Van Gogh drawing, and suddenly you're not saying, oh, that's a piece of art history, or oh, that's a really expensive painting, or oh, yes, he cut his ear off and killed himself. No, you are in Van Gogh's head, looking out at the south of France and seeing it through his eyes. You're seeing how he appreciated some irises. You're seeing the connection that he had to his postman. Um, all of these things are are available to you because you now know what the experience is to see like an artist. You go to and you learn from from Michelangelo and you learn from Rembrandt and you learn from cave painters and you learn from Jackson Pollock. You you suddenly see what it was that they were doing, what it is that made that great, and what it is about art that is so powerful because it is, it is not just paint on a canvas. It is permission to inhabit somebody else's brain and heart and soul and to walk in their shoes and to see the world the way they do and to realize the similarities and the, the uniqueness between people, the unique way that everybody experiences the world based on their experience on what they've 
gone through in life, the emotions that they felt, the skills that they have, the ups and downs, all of that goes into making their art. And you are suddenly, it's available to you. Whereas before, it was impenetrable. You went into a museum, you walked around, you didn't know how to begin. You felt like, oh, I better get a tour. Oh, I better read a book. No, suddenly you're able to be calm, to be open, and to see and to experience. It's really incredible. And then you also start to have this kinship with other artists who are alive now. And you see somebody's work on Instagram and you message them. You run into somebody in an art supply store. You go on a, on a, to a sketching group. You share some work of your own on the internet and people come and write to you. And suddenly you start to see that there are other people in your tribe, people who you didn't think you could be associated with because you didn't have talent and you didn't go to art school and you're not a professional artist. None of that matters. Everybody wants to share. We all want to learn from each other. How, what pen did you use? How did you get that effect? How did it feel to go there? What other artists do you like? Suddenly you're part of a thriving, dynamic, amazing network. And it doesn't matter what you personally think about where you've been. That's not the point. The point is other people will recognize in you what you may not have recognized in yourself. Now, look, it's unlikely that you're going to find a genie. Um, we all have to work a bit to get to this point of, of absorbing this power, but you can get there. And the fact is, the work that you have to put in is part of the gift because it helps you to develop confidence. It helps you to develop pride in yourself for having this new skill, for looking at at, at at your um, progress and saying, what else can I do? I didn't think I could do this. In fact, I was sure I couldn't. In fact, I used to beat myself up. I can't draw. I don't have the talent. My, my art's never going to be good enough. And now suddenly, wow, here I am. This thing that I always wanted, but never knew that it was attainable. And I was preoccupied by things that are irrelevant now. Oh, I'll never make a living as an artist. Oh, there's so much competition. Oh, I never have any original thoughts. Oh, so-and-so said I didn't have any talent. None of that matters now. Instead, the only question that you have for yourself is, why did I wait? Why did I wait so long to allow myself this gift? I can't tell you how many people I hear from who say, I didn't find this out till I was 50 or 60 or 70 or 80. And all I can think is, I wish I'd started earlier. And I say, it's okay, you're starting now. Enjoy the rest of the time on earth having this gift and being able to use it and being able to experience what's, whatever you want to in your life through this incredible new set of lenses. You know? So don't wait to try this, you can start it now. And the key thing is to understand what the real purpose of art is. The purpose of art is not to be famous, not to be uh, sold in, in galleries, not to have a store, not to publish a book, not to, to, um, you know, to do any of the things that people tell us through the prism of capitalism that it's only worth it if it makes money. That's not the purpose of art at all. The magic of art, the gift of art, is it allows you to be an authentic version of yourself, to be able to see the world and understand that you're seeing it as you see it, only you see it in this way, and to see it beautifully, your own form of beauty, and that also to feel connected, to feel connected to the things that are inspiring in you, the things that are actually beautiful that you hadn't known were so, and also to feel connected to the people who look at your art or the other people who make art. You suddenly have this network of human connection through this common vision, okay? But at its core, the gift of art is the gift of being yourself, of being the best, most beautiful, possible, authentic version of who you are, to quiet all those voices in your head and to say to them, those are just static, getting in the way of this incredible opportunity that I have to have a beautiful, gorgeous life and um, to not to be distracted by anything except the, the incredible beauty in front of me. So part of the reason that I'm telling you all this is because I want 
to help you to learn how to do this. And so I just made a course which I'm giving out completely free here on YouTube. I'm sharing all the lessons that I've learned about how to draw, the, how to actually get these skills and how to apply them. And they're layer upon layer, these skills. It's not like the genie, <laughs> one second after another you have it. It's different different facets of awakening and awareness where you suddenly start to see the world more clearly through these different drawing exercises and different drawing principles that we're going to have. So I want to share this gift with you because I think it's so fun and amazing and interesting and it changed my life. I didn't realize that this was possible until I was almost 40 years old myself and it helped me to heal and to be happier and to be more at peace and to give to others and all these things. I've made a bunch of videos that are on this channel about that idea, but you don't need to have the same experience I have. You'll have your own experience, but it'll be based in this feeling, this feeling of what it is like to draw. The course is here. Um, you can start it today if you want to. As I said, it's free. All you need is a paper, a pen, a bit of time and start having this experience. And I really want to hear from you. What is it like to go through this transformation? Because I remember when it happened to me, it was electric. And I have had that a lot of people tell me how amazing they had, but, the, but their version of it is all different. So I'd love to hear yours. If you join this class of mine, which is called How to Draw, um, I'll put a link up to the video that, where you can start. Let me know how it's going. Let me know what you're feeling, what you're seeing, how the world is transformed for you because this is an opportunity for you to really to change your life. And anybody can do it, regardless of your experience, your age, your circumstances. All you need is the will to begin. I hope you will begin today. Thanks a lot. See you later.